Hello and welcome to Critical Tumble, where a bunch of long-time friends and internet nerds transcend geography through the power of Discord to play Dungeons and Dragons, and critically fumble a lot. Last session, uh, the group took on the uh, adult green dragon Corivel, who was mostly standing in as the Seneschal of Goldendale, but uh, had come to them in the guise of the artist elf Barreras. Um, after that, they hobbled home, more or less literally, because that was a hell of a fight. And, um, our, they, 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 they crashed, basically, planning to get up as early as possible to, uh, determine exactly what their plan of attack is. The night's not a hundred percent peaceful for everybody. Um, Hazel and Remy, uh, dreaming, as far as they can tell, wind up in a landscape that is familiar to Remy, at least. Uh, very, very bright. Very, very calm and peaceful and warm. And, yeah, this would be the celestial plane. <clears throat> They're and both next to each other? Well, they're sort of in the, the immediate, they can see each other vicinity, yes. Okay. And off in the distance over there somewhere, there is arguing. Yet again, there is basically Alice going, look, I get it, and I know that we're going to need all the help we can get here, but I tell you this right now, you fuck with either of them, and I am punching you in the face. <laughs> That's acceptable, I guess. Good. Okay, what are you guys going to do? I'm headed towards this arguing. I don't know what this is, and I'm like, I don't know where I am. I don't know what's happening. I just hear arguing, and that's like, I got to, uh, what was going on? Sort of <laughs> a detached state of mind, because I'm pretty, um, I'm dreaming, so I have no idea what's happening. <laughs> Remy belatedly scrambles onwards because she sees Hazel running towards that. <laughs> well, the argument pretty much winds down when you guys turn up. And the uh, the solar turns to the both of you and says, You had quite the battle. Remy bows her head a bit. Yes, and I appreciate your blessings that helped us it's only overcome going, that. It's only going to get worse from here. I know. Thus, um, they interfere and so must we. So, I think it's about time your blessings increased a little. Same goes for you. You remember your... <laughs> pieces of jewelry, your gifts from. Uh-huh. Well, that's not just something that can be put on jewelry. Let me teach you. <laughs> okay! <laughs> so, yeah, you two spend the rest of your long rest picking up the bits and pieces that um, you picked up in uh, your leveling up. Hmm. Darwin just kind of works it out in his own, really. He's been wanting to do this for, like, ever. <laughs> and he's got all of Clarity's books, so that's something that could potentially be looked in. And he's probably been looking into them, I'm assuming, for the last little while, so... Morning happens, and you guys wake up to, uh, well, Remy to empty bed, and the rest of you guys, well, all of you guys, to the smell of cooking eggs, sausages, coffee. <laughs> Me back in the main house going, ah, I just have to do it. <laughs> Oh. Okay. 
Remy gets herself sorted, looks for Alice in the immediate vicinity. She's cooking. And she'll take her back, go back to taking her time. And will wake up and get sorted properly. Yeah, they're sort of probably as Hazel's wandering in, they're sort of you no know, plunk coffee. Uh, breakfast is up in a minute. Kiss on top of the head. Back to the uh, and it just looks so Twilly and Miranda that it's kind of scary. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Not the at which point Darwin walks waking up to okay. Yeah, <laughs> at which point Darwin <laughs> probably walks out hearing the emergency broadcast signal, seeing the dumbfounded look on Hazel's face, and seeing <laughs> Alice a, and then and 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 just sort of. Moving on, just, just, just on not head. saying anything. Just sort of like I'm just gonna keep it moving. <laughs> Sit down. There's gonna be coffee. I know we're on a timetable here, but we need to eat. We need our strength. I agree. We also need to figure out exactly in what order we're gonna do shit in. Candor obviously also. comes first, but we've got other shit to deal with. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Um, Alice passes by, just pushes Hazel onto a bench. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> like, I'm still looking entirely too stunned and kind of middle distance staring. And she just in front of your face. <laughs> Focus on now. Whatever is getting that reaction, you can tell us later. Unless it's Got relevant, it. but it doesn't look relevant, so. <laughs> uh, yeah. <sighs> so we've got food, and next we figure out what order we do what in. Because mm -hmm. if I, because we've got mom and Skylar and everyone in 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 that that tower full of stupid. You and I were going to sneak to the shrine, if I recall. Yeah, but that's before and, that's bef that's while well, the rest of us are causing a distraction, getting right. Tender out. Right, right, right. And then there's also the Baron who's been sick, mm -hmm. I'll bet being poisoned. So Wouldn't surprise me. That might be something we need to get to a bit faster True. than family. <laughs> Gets a hair ruffle as breakfast is put in front of her. <sighs> you got so much to do today. Yep. Breathe, I'm Hazel. Not time. I. Well, we got just keeping just keep on the goal of getting everybody safe. Mm -hmm. So, but let's see. So. You two are going to the shrine. And then we're going to the, or and then we're going to get candor, or we're doing, um, we're getting candor no, at the same time. We're going to the shrine. I'm, you guys I'm, are going to get candor, which will create the distraction and which enables Hazel and me to get to the shrine. To get and back in theory, from, from there, there we go to the barn. Right. Once we've right. got things as sorted as they're going to be, whether it's subduing the crown's guard or a full-on riot, we have to keep moving. The right. reason we need the clerics is to keep the townsfolk going. Yep. Okay. Oh, that's where I wasn't quite clear. I wasn't quite sure what part fully the clerics were going to play, whether it was just going to be helping maintain or whether or not they were going to be showing up at the execution as well. Well, they'll be <clears throat> sort of coming, flanking the execution. Uh, we don't know how long it's going to take to kick things off. The way I figure it is, uh, as well as the dragon head, one really good way of making a statement about the nature of tieflings is to have a fucking celestial standing right behind him protecting him. Yeah, I, was, I, don't know. <clears throat> I was thinking something along those lines myself, yes. Thank you. I just, I didn't want to Presume. 
Thank you. That's that's it. Thank that's, you. That's when you ask. Puts breakfast in front of him. Oh, thank you. Yeah, everybody gets okay. breakfast. Um, Hazel, I think, has the right idea, though. Uh, seeing to the Baron first before the tower, I think. Because if we don't and he dies, then we get a succession conga line, and the next person through it would be, would be well, Alzor, in Alzor High right now. But we don't mm. really know is the problem, because there'd have to be an intermediary, because nobody mm. knows if his successor is even alive. Right, they exactly. They make provision, and since the, the crown guard is dead... The crown guard will be around the Baron, too. Probably. Mm. Well, the crown guard probably will be around the Baron, and they'll be around the tower. My thought no. was if we... Maybe the... Well, I... Mm. Now the Baron... I was thinking the Baron might be able to exert some authority there, but no, that's the crown guard. They're under, under orders of the of crown. the crown, so that's no good. Would, would, there hmm. be, um, would, would it we pass by the execution place on the way to the Baron, or not? Yeah, that's why we're stopping to stop the execution first. Right. That so basically, execution shrine, way. then Baron. I mm -hmm. think, though, <clears throat> I opinions on, on opinions on whether it's Baron first or Tower first, because I'm now I'm not I'm second guessing I, myself. As much as I'd rather Tower first, I have to say Baron. Currently, I still think currently, Tower first. Currently, he doesn't have an heir. If he dies, this barony and the heart thereof goes back to the crown. Okay. Good point. Yeah, Thank but you. We don't know how long the. People at the tower have them. We don't know how long the Baron has either. I'm sorry. Look, this is going to sound very. This is going to sound very mercenary to say, but given one over the other, the the needs of the Baron Barony outweigh the needs of our family. We got to save the Baron first. More Especially of our because he survives if the people in the tower fall than if the Baron does. <sighs> Because yes. nice. the heart going to the crown means they have a direct line to the heart of all of Baron's Veer. And remember what and, 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 and remember what happened to the heart of Starcoast when they decided to get with the Juju? It grew an entire thing around it and killing that killed the heart. No, pulling uh pulling it across the barrier. Why did the, finish the job there? True. But by that but point, but I, that was because by that point it was so weak there wasn't enough left for it to maintain. And that does bad things to Baronsvir. Period. Goldendale is the heart of Baronsvir. So goes Goldendale. So goes Baronsvir. I guess I'll we'll just have to be as quick as I can. Hmm. Nice saying nothing through all of this, just cutting an egg into smaller and smaller pieces. Well, it's scrambled, so, but yeah. <laughs> Fro Seth says, um, you might want to, when you go to the shrine, ask if they have any kind of all purpose antidotes. I mean, green dragon poison. Uh huh. What a bad idea, yeah. I can heal that. poisons. Yeah, but you might not be. How many of them? It's worth a try. Not for the Baron, at least. Worth a try, Ooh. but it might also be well to save it. If they, if if the clerics can help, mm -hmm. maybe let them. As basically, and it also adds a layer of 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 just in case. And the more of that we have, the better too. Mm -hmm. Well, and also, you know, the, for the for the f most recent while, the clerics haven't been able to well help. I haven't been able and to the clerics. So yeah, and hey. so this gives them that chance to do something. Mm. Let I'm the not excited, learn. but I can't think of. A, I can't help but thinking we should at least consider it. 
What if the plan is to go to the shrine? First of all, right? Well, you and Hazel are sneaking there. Right. While we stop the execution. But I thought we were saying that precisely that the Baron came before that. No, the Baron come. The execution is on the way to the Baron. We stop right. that. But we don't pause there. Right. We get right. Kander out of harm's way, and that's the other reason to bring the cleric so they can take him right. out right. of play. Get that was sort of what safe. I was. That we do, we thinking. do that. We show the head. We show them what the situation <sighs> is, and we move on with the clerics right, right, and the right. people distracting the crowns guard. Got it. Yeah, and then um, while that's my, going my on, point. the question was, do we go to the baron, the, the baron next, or the tower? That's what it was. Right, 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 right. And from what so, you were yeah. telling me, the manor is closer than the tower anyway. Mm. Exactly. Yes, I, was, I was confusing them. Um, no, it's fair. My, my thought was, we could, if, when we go to the shrine, since the clerics will, uh, we can, if, if we're going to sort of let them loose, so to speak, they could go to the tower or we could go to the baron, but I don't like the idea very much. But no, because they, they're yeah. going to need to help the town people. Yeah. Remember, the townspeople have been being beat up by these assholes for a while. True. Yeah, Lenark. Edwina. As well, yeah. I mean, if she survives, it'll be a damn miracle. Mm. Can I... Somebody turn at least one of these crowns guard inside out for me? <laughs> oh, you'll be coming in. There'll be plenty of time to for you to turn one crowns guard inside out at least. If not Good. in town, then at the then at the manor or the tower or something. Yeah. Well, I think I think we've got sort of a plan. I'm still not 100 percent sure. Well, I mean, I'm it's gonna, not gonna be 100 sure. What we're gonna do as far as the actual like. I have a <laughs> show up with the head and see where things go from there, I guess. I mean, so that'll else definitely gonna do... get attention. It's mm -hmm. going to kind of, well, it, I don't know how much the crown guard actually know, you know, or the crown guard that are going to be there, like how much they're going to know. How convincing, who's... how convincing can you be? Well, <laughs> coffee. Sort of, sort of a rhetorical question. You're going to have to push it <sighs> the boat, dear. Yeah, I will. I will persuade and perform my ever-loving heart out because for Candor deserves nothing less. Well, whatever else happens, nothing's getting Candor. I'm breaking out the wings, and I am right there. Thank you. Like I said, it's the perfect image. There is tiefling. They're calling him demon. Something celestial is protecting him. That says yeah. things. Mm. That's yeah. That's that's. It's beautiful. gonna make them think a bit. I uh, or blink at least. <laughs> I mean, but no. Um, I was. Yeah, I was. I was worried about Kander a lot. He, uh, you know, having been. He was one of the ones that you know that we as a group brought back, brought say to brought to safety. So. You know, it's a bit more. Not that if not that things aren't personal, it's there, it's different with him. And if was, that makes sense. And wasn't he already running from a sacrifice anyway? Yeah, and this so it's there's just a few levels to this that just kind of make it I don't know mean a little more to me. So I'm a little more trying to consider more of how to approach things. I'll tell you Rather than much, just dive they're, in, they're not—they're not, they're not going to kill Candor. I'm going to be up there. I'm going to grab him. I'm going to make a second or two of display, and then I'm flying him straight to the clerics. So you guys better get them quickly. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get up, walk around Alice, and just hug her. Thank you. I'm a protector. It's literally what I am. Still. All the thank you. Yeah, what Hazel said. <laughs> Hazel put it better. <laughs> or at least simpler. So, 
I guess it's not. We finish the food and we get this show on the road. I guess so. Mm -hmm. Not much more yeah. planning we can do. I'm all packed. Uh, Froseth says, I was working on that list that uh, Aston wanted. Uh, medicines and things. I was also wondering uh, whatever happens in town in the manor in the tower they're going to know exact I mean, they probably already know if the seneschal is gone who was responsible there may be reprisals here I was thinking wow. maybe I mean we have we have con and I know a couple of the kids can shoot at least and Shanira she's not going to like being out in the daytime but I was thinking maybe staying as backup I also don't want to confuse matters in town you're bringing out a dragon's head fair enough we also don't want to forget that mummy dearest was we don't not know where she yeah, we don't know where she is, but we do know that they have wyvern riders and mm -hmm. more more guards than a town this size would normally need. It wouldn't be hard for them to send a squad here, and if it's just the kids. Yeah, no, no, I'm, I'm, yeah, no, that's a very, very good idea. That sort of makes you wonder if we should leave everyone here, anyone here, excuse me. I don't say that we have a choice. Exactly, I mean, we can't bring them with us. We'll be getting their attention pretty fully, I think. I don't think they'll have that many people to send. Enough for a few bowmen and someone who's... I've been attuning to the water, to the air. I'm a lot harder to hit now. Plus, I mean, they're smart kids. They'll know to stay low and out of sight if anyone comes. Have you met my sister? I mean... <laughs> and then there's Shinaira. She'll keep them safe. You have and faith. the middle... Uh-huh. Uh. Oh. Oh, dear gods! <laughs> hey, so uh, hey. Okay, this sounds relevant. Um, Come on. Um, out with it. Okay. Uh, remember in the Temple of Nerul where we found out that that, that that villain has a mortal self, basically? Yeah, they, her divinity is with Paylor and... Nerul sends her more sentient and how humanity she, side. Uh, and how she favors long-lived female bipeds, humanoids. And oh. Are you I hearing what I think you're thinking? That. Yeah. I mean, we have her mortal self right here in you, I'm not saying you're wrong, but you want to want to walk us through that. Um, I mean, okay. Remember when I went down into the 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 library to look at stuff? She found the exact information I needed with no frame of reference whatsoever. I was kind of flaily, and when I get flaily, words don't work. And she found exactly what I needed twice over. Okay. Can she even Not read common? Why would she be able to read common? I don't know. She's been in the Underdark apparently this whole time. And so her... probably... Wait, wasn't her her Underdarky village very much targeted? Uh-huh. Her... Just, just like... It, it... Went after the drow. They went after the drow as a whole, looking to get rid of clearly someone who was a drow. Well, no, the drow. From what I remember from history, is the drow largely got turned, except for the ones that ran. 
But the ones that ran, yeah, they're few and far between, but they're too scattered to hunt. But somebody managed. Yeah. Less than a century ago. Well, at the very least, uh, Hazel, I'm 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 following your 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 logic. Um, I mean, <laughs> at the very least. So, so uh, you're saying she's connected to Nauru? She no, she's a piece of the goddess of wisdom, is what she's saying. The goddess of wisdom oh. went missing because this black sludge, this 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 parasitic meme of evil and destruction. Is was trying to taint the goddess of wisdom to spread via information, thought, thoughts, mm. ideas, corrupt people's minds, essentially. Basically, yeah. to turn it into something that can't be killed or ever removed. Yeah, because you yeah, can't yeah, try try not to think of a pink displacer beast. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> What's so hard about that? I don't know what a displacer beast looks someone like. Tells you not oh, to that's fair. That, that Actually, to. yes, you that's do. Dis displacer beasts are quite common in the kinds of places that elves live, and Ava wears a cloak made of one. So, yes, you do know exactly what a displacer beast looks like. Anyway. So it's something we need to consider. Man, I wonder what would have happened if we really had left her behind. Hmm, not sure. I don't know if, we were, if, we, if Hazel's still uh, I'm not going to contemplate that. Nope. Probably just as well not, since you were the one who was suggesting she stay and command forces that no longer existed except as icicles. I just Ruffle, emit the Ruffle. emergency broadcast signal noise. <laughs> Ruffles Darwin's hair and then claps a hand over Hazel's mouth. Ah, oh, thank you. <laughs> Let's right. go be heroes, guys. I was going to say, time to move. Yes. Slams down the rest of the coffee. <laughs> <laughs> the, Which getting my... back? Yes, can, can you give me a constitution save? Because that was Alice A. Coffee. Oh. <laughs> okay. Uh, one second. There it is. Hang on. Uh, the site's reacting very slowly. Uh, let's see. Con save. There it is. You are jittering. <laughs> okay. Uh that was a 12, for the record. Jittering as in, like, a bit tipsy? Oh, no, he's Just a little buzzy. Just a little buzzy. Oh. Hands are shaking a bit. Like, extreme caffeine. <laughs> yeah, basically. Yeah, when, when, when I did what he did, my hands shook for about an hour. <laughs> Didn't realize there was that much left in the cup. Oops, <laughs> that was my fault. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> Well, you didn't specify, so when you don't specify, it's up to me. Oh, yeah, no, 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 <laughs> no, no, no. That was the say. I didn't realize there was that much in the cap. That was uh, in character. You were too busy talking and listening and not drinking. Yeah, Pat, Pat, you'll walk it off. Come on. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Very much so. Yes. And first, that just gives them may the elements protect you. <laughs> you too. I'll let them know. What's going on? Thank you. Got it. Hmm. Grab back. <laughs> yeah, Full gear. Okay, and onward to town. You come in through sort of here. So are we all together, or Hazel and I a bit? Um, well, you're 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 a little separate. further down this road, basically. Uh, I'm uh, sort of rushing us to, you know, a point where you're not necessarily at risk of discovery, but I'm showing you the map anyway. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. So. The, uh, this is amazing. Yeah, I mean, as you're coming down sort of this road, you can see off in the distance little puffs of uh, smoke coming from the uh, chimney of the Golden Bough. And you can see the shrine. And there seems to be a crowd gathered at the tree that you saw. Mm hmm. With the fairy dragons hung from it. Mm hmm. There appears to be a platform, and somebody in fairly fancy black and dark gray clothing is making some kind of a speech. <clears throat> this is where we split off, right? Hazel, um, you're going to have to give your bag of holding to Darwin. It's the one with the head in it. Yep. I'm going to pull out my hammer first, get that uh, fixed, and hand him the bag. Are you sure there's nothing else in here that you need? Only... If it is, we'll rejoin soon enough. Yep. Yeah. All right. Pass the trace time. Ava. You watch yourselves. Oh, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be gaining the most attention I possibly can, followed shortly by it this is performer's time. <laughs> All the more reason to watch yourselves. Do we'll do what we can. Yeah, hopefully everybody else is watching me. <laughs> hey, by the way, how big is the dragon's head? Roughly. Yeah sizable um i've never <laughs> been very good at measurements so we're talking about like a good size horse's head or something maybe about the size of the, the... Little, little bigger than that um okay that's good enough yeah we're, we're talking that gives sort, an of, idea. sort of large ish humanoids torso okay okay oh, that's big <laughs> yeah. yeah wait till you get to ancients <laughs> remember, no. gnomes, remember, gnomes can stand in ancient dragons. <laughs> like inside, if the diagram was any indicator. <laughs> anyway, stealth from you two. Pass it on the chase. Yes. Next time. Uh, Fifteen, making it twenty-five. That, that, oh, for Christ 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 sake. Is seriously, saving Ava's ass right now. <sighs> Mostly, it's because she's um, she does okay at first, but part of why it kind of falls down a little bit is because she almost does. There's a bunch of new, uh, t well, m grave markers, really, because while there's plenty of ones that were you know, stone, old residents. There's a whole bunch of new ones. Just little wooden markers with names carved on. Clearly placeholders against a day when they can properly memorialize the dead. Mm -hmm. And it, you know, as, as you trip over one, it just gives an indication of how bad things have been because it's been less than a week. Do I, do I knock it over, or do I just bump no. into it? You just sort of, because they're, they're fairly low, you just sort of hook an ankle on it and stumble and almost fall. Yep, 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 yep. Catch, continue. Yeah, it's, it's, thankfully it's not too, too far, and crowd noise does conceal you as much as anything else, so... You turn up at the shrine without too much problem. And I'm looking for whichever door is available and just sort of trying. You can sneak in through the kitchen garden door. And in we go. Ava's internally furious with herself at fucking stealth something up again. <laughs> yeah, it's it's still a bit of a mess. Um Melora, the uh, the cleric of Istis, um, is uh, trying to change Lenark's bandages, and he's swearing in 
a language that is human but not common. He's from somewhere else. <laughs> Scooby um, sta uh, sort of Scooby stacking around uh, and spotting this and going, oh boy. <laughs> and Estan is performing what Hazel recognizes as last rites over what appears to be the body of Edwina. Yeah, that that noise does get a look up when he's finished. Ah, you're risking a daylight raid then. Uh, sort of. Um, things came to a pretty big head the other night. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> I hate you so much. That wasn't even on purpose. That was my accident. I, as oh I said, I went, "Oh no!" Yeah, oh. It, it's awful when you can see the pun, and you just have no breaks anymore. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Uh. So we kind of encountered him directly. Kim. The dragon that was masquerading as the seneschal and as Barreras. What? Well, we and... haven't seen Barreras. Uh, there, there, we've, we've, we, the only reason we thought he was alive was because there were some tales in the Golden Bough. Apparently he'd been acting strangely and the dragons haven't been particularly concerned about him, which is odd. Uh, it turns out the dragon killed him and was walking around as him. When he wasn't being the Seneschal. Yeah. And we've since killed the dragon. Okay. We kind of are about to interrupt what's going on in the... What's going on out there. Oh, good. And we need all the help possible. So, dragon's gone. We... We need to start using everything we can do. And I'm walking over to Lenark and uh, casting Cure Wounds. <laughs> what level? Uh, first okay. level. Okay. Go ahead and roll. Uh, let me find my clicky button. <sighs> there we go. Thank you. You are perhaps not quite so annoying as I originally remember. <laughs> give, give, give me a bit. I might put my foot in it again. No, I think that is reserved for Bard. I think he is. <laughs> I think he is expert at hopping on one foot because rest of time foot is in mouth. <laughs> Out of character. This person hasn't met Nye yet. <laughs> no, nope, but. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Come, we go. We, we, we prod the buttock. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Once. Let, let's, let, let's. Do something, says Aston. Yeah. 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 Alright. We'll, we'll gather ourselves. Ladies and gentlemen. I know you're as angry about everything that's been going on as I am. Now is when we do something about it. This child has helped to slay a green dragon of indeterminate age. How old was it? At least an adult. Adult, then. If it was ancient, I think you would know. Oh, yeah. I saw the diagrams in the book. Yikes. We'll discuss that later. The least we can do is take on some assholes in armor. There's a quiet little cheer, and people start gathering up their various magical foci and weapons. Ava can't help but be a little bit annoyed at the this child, you know, like ignoring her completely, but at the same time she thinks, yeah, she's well, kind of right. I didn't, I didn't do well, that. I, all. I didn't know where you were. <laughs> you, you, well, I was with Hazel. Yeah, but you didn't, because she'd originally been peeking around. Uh, 
Whoa. Well, I, well, I assume that was like next to her. I don't know where you are until you tell me. I figured I was next to her. Sorry. <laughs> next time, tell me. Uh, it sort of it, it does then sort of turn around like ah, sorry these children. <laughs> you see, if you want to be noticed in this crowd, you must actually speak because they will talk all over you. Yeah, True. It, it, it's 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 like it's like what happens in our group normally, Ava, <laughs> except turned up to eleven. <laughs> You see, we're we're very distracted, and she is very distracting. And if you're quiet and well mannered and everything, first of all, what are you doing with these people? And <laughs> second of all, you probably will not get noticed. It, it, it's a cloud of chaos. Particularly not if you stand in a corner that way. I'll keep that in mind. You'll get there eventually. <laughs> Meanwhile, well. The clerics of the shrine are gearing up for war, and um, Violet, one of the older fairy dragons, is uh, polymorphing into cat to run for Jenna. You guys, are you just storming up, or are you trying to sneak as close as possible? Remy's not planning on sneaking. Okay. Oh dear. Okay. <laughs> if if Remy is going right in. stomping, then yeah, yeah, then stomp it is, I guess. All right. Oh jeez. Well, the point is to create this. Yep. And I will be pulling. I will be as we're walking. I'm like, well, I. This thing is too big. <laughs> the, okay. When, when we get there. The speech. <laughs> the speech from the uh, individual in the black and gray robes cuts off before you guys get particularly far. Um, and he clearly winds it short when he sees you guys coming. And he, he, he does try to get out a couple of words about you know, ending the demon child. Kander, by the way, is standing on a kind of a wobbly stool uh, with a noose around his neck tied to one of the branches, at which point Alice is just woof, flies up to the tree and they kick the, they manage to kick the stool out from under him, but she's got scimitar in one hand other arm around Kander and before his neck can break which they which they from which which they kicked the stool out from under him. The, the the guy in the black and the you don't know him, but the the master of ceremonies, let's call him. Somebody give me a good reason not to shoot him in the face. In a second. I... Yeah, give him a minute. Give me a minute. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, what happens then is basically uh, Alice a lands on a sturdier branch of the tree just as a display thing. Paylor and all of his servants say, Hands off! <laughs> and Candor's sort of looking at her like, Who the fuck are you? <laughs> Friends of the really flaily weirdos. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I love that say. She needed something really quick to. Yep. So. And then she points at Darwin, who's now in the back of the crowd. Pulling. <laughs> trying to get that fucking. <laughs> Uh, um, actually, actually, give me a strength check. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, how is this going to work? Oh. Uh, what am I going to have to roll to do this? Because I need some help. Uh... Remy's looking to Jarvan. Who is struggling. Struggling. Yeah. 
I mean, he can get he can get this now out of the bag, but he can't find a decent grab hold on yeah. uh, on the front of the jaw to. <clears throat> and it's, uh, Remy reaches to help. I'm gonna re actually given Remy a strength modifier. She's fine. Just all of a sudden, <laughs> woof. Yeah, Remy. There's, 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 a, there's a gasp. This is the fate of tyrants. The one that he served. <laughs> this one's looking over to see. This dragon, this adult dragon, was masquerading as the Seneschal and was the one who ordered this. This was the result. Quietly from a teenage sounding voice in the crowd, there's too many this is in that sentence. <laughs> <laughs> we killed this dragon. We are protecting our home. And we are protecting all of you. And Candor is family. And no one fucks with family. The dragon is dead. Your orders are moot. Goldendale belongs to all of us. Okay, we've turned this into make me an intimidation check. <laughs> oh, okay. Not my strong suit, but I'll go for it. Well, I thought I you were going to rally the people, not threaten the crowns guard. I was getting to that. I lost my train of thought partway. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. I'll... You were angry, oh God. Oops. Oh, well. Seven. Okay, now roll me persuasion. And pray you do just as badly. Fourteen. Yeah, um, as you stop talking, that same teenage voice that corrected your grammar yells something incredibly rude in Elvish. Um, it, 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 it's, an it's an excrement thing. Mm -hmm. And lobs what appears to be a, a tomato just this side of too squishy at one of the crowns guard. At which point... Oh boy. Oh jeez. Kid goes down with a crossbow bolt to the throat. Oh. And the riot breaks out. Oh jeez. At which point you've got Alice just going... And now, the, this is when the clerics come out, and Estan looks at Hazel, sees this riot, and goes, Was this the plan? You're muted. Solta? I guess? No! No! Uh... The distraction was the plan? Dead Me. people was not the plan! No. Alice <laughs> soars down from the tree. <laughs> Just in time for the and lands just in time for the celestial wings to. Pff. Ah, so this is what you actually look like, says Estan. Uh huh. Take care of him. Oh, this went to horrible places. Please try to keep this in some kind of line. We need to make sure the Baron isn't gonna die of stupid shit. Can I get- is it possible for you to get to the kid before Revivify's time goes out? Um, now we roll the Hand of Fate. If you click the boots, maybe. I'm burning the boots now. Okay. You get there, as this poor kid is... Basically, you, you've got a, you've got a second, maybe. To wait to heal or revivify? Revivify. This kid has no. This kid has no class levels. Yeah. Okay. I'm. Yeah. I'm just dumping one of my revivifies into this kid. Just 
symbol glowing, hand on chest. I've, I, I get the bolt out of the way, and I'm just going. Darwin has your diamonds. If they uh, were in the bag of holding, which I believe they were. Uh, yep. So that that straight probably fizzles right on the spot. Uh, hang on. One more roll of the hand of fate. Pray. <laughs> You're going to need the highest level, okay, maybe not the highest level, because you have a fourth level spell slot, which I'm willing to let you save, but you're going to need a third level cure wounds just to get this kid breathing. Okay, yep, I'm going to do that too. I mean, I'm assuming you take out the crossbow bolt. Yeah, I, uh, yeah uh, I, was, I... I said that in the process of revivify. Can I see any either of the others? Of the others of what? Well, the, the rest of the group. Oh, oh yeah, well, they're, I mean, as far as I know, Remy and I are, st and, and, Remy is still, probably put down the head by now, because that's going to be a strain eventually. If I, as soon as I see Darwin, I, uh, I've seen Hazel do, go to the kid, right? Mm. I head, I rush toward Darwin. I don't even speak, I just look into the bag and grab a diamond. And I run back to Hazel. Uh, by by that point, it would have been too late. But I, like I said, I I rolled the hand of fate, uh, for to see if I could find some way of letting it work, because that's okay. something that Hazel hadn't considered. And so he doesn't he doesn't need revivify. Not if she burns as high a level healing spell as possible. It's the best I can do. Yep. Which yeah, uh, I. And the wound That's... closes, and this this kid is gonna be in a world of hurt. But and I'm gonna oh. use what's left of my boots charge to blur to pick him up and blur back over. Okay, you're gonna need to actually know um, your strength isn't too bad, but yeah, that is gonna be the rest of your boots. I think. Um, I mean, given a minute, I'm pushing it to given the spell casting and everything, but uh, yeah, you can blur him back to the clerics. I mean, unconscious and really shaky, you know, that I have lost too much blood heart palpitation thing, but alive. <sighs> Do I have eyes on the guardsman that shot him? Uh, roll me perception. Can I try to? <clears throat> you didn't even see the shot. Not Thirteen. Right. So I DC before just so crossbow shot went out. Uh, if you want to also roll a perception check. <laughs> no, you, That's not a... you had eyes too. Well, both of you had too much eyes on the um, on the master of ceremonies to see how he was reacting to this. Mm -hmm. Remy barely saw the crossbow bolt fly. Nye just missed it. He knows approximately what direction, but there are too many people, and now too much movement has happened. Because now they're engaging the townspeople. The townspeople are fighting back, but they are unarmed. Unarmored. Can I get any... Can I get any sort of clear shot? Master of Ceremonies first, or any of the Crown's Guard? Clear shot? Uh, not so much. There's, It's too much of a melee now. And the clerics are now also waiting in. Okay. Which is funny, because uh, somebody who is literally on fire comes running past you. And it appears to um, be Jenna. Press the digitation, <laughs> water! <laughs> It doesn't work, and she gives, <laughs> and, and she yells, "This is normal, you tit!" <laughs> and then oh, punches shit. some, then punches a crowns guard in the face. Does it, with does the, it look like the townspeople are holding, uh, winning? Well, even, they're they're or? they're struggling at first, but uh, let me have a quick look. Well, well, let's see what Jenna's falcon punch just did. <laughs> well, falcon, <laughs> Jenna's falcon punch just collapsed a, a crowns guard's face. There was there was a there was a kind of a boom that Dorvin kind of recognizes. Apparently, her fist is her weapon. 
<laughs> Why am I not surprised? Basically, um, Estam is sort of standing at the edge of the field, just setting out toll the dead on people. <laughs> Ooh. Nice. Sometimes it's working, sometimes not so much. Um, there's, uh, there's one that, uh, a rather elderly um, half-elven woman who uh, Hazel recognizes as the uh, she's she's been the cleric of Bayori in town for quite some while, um, and she's weaving walls that you guys almost recognize, except there's fewer thorns on these, um, separating out some of the more vulnerable people in the crowd, but. The Crown's Guard are fairly smart and are hacking through those, but it's buying time. <sighs> the, uh, the, 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 the cleric of Obadhai, a little less cleric and a little more druid, went. who uh, goes into the shape of Mountain Lion, and the next thing you know, wham, and he's chewing on somebody's head. <laughs> oh, the clerics are angry. I mean, and Jenna is still in there punching. And as an afterthought, sorry, I haven't got around to your spear or your sword yet. Wham! <laughs> Gonna be a bit busy! No worries! <laughs> We're being a distraction. Use it. Yeah, let's. Yeah, I was about. Let's uh, about let's let's book. Yeah. Hmm? Did anyone of the group name me? Uh, well, you went to join uh, Darwin, right? Remy and I. So it's just down to Alice and Hazel and uh, to to get back to you guys. Yeah, once the brief stun from the boots wearing off wears off, I'm booking it towards the group. Yeah, Alice has, has helped you a little way along, because you know, she's just you know, hand around your shoulders and shove, 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 while you were still stunned. <laughs> so, right, let's get moving. So, come on, let's go. Just Are we leaving the head just... behind? Yeah. Screw yeah. it. Okay. Full tilt. No need running. It. Yeah, well, Remy runs. Right. And girls are behind us every every few seconds to check. No one's chasing after us. Well, they're not trying to hide. Some some are. If I if I see anyone chasing us, I try and fire as well. Okay, that's gonna be uh, at disadvantage because you're trying to do it on the run. Yeah, big it. Ten. Clink off somebody's shield. Now make me a I dex save. Oh god. Twenty-three. You managed not to trip. <laughs> well, I mean, I think I would practice shooting and running. Backwards. Yeah, but not backward. Yeah, <laughs> good point. <laughs> oh, it was a good, a good effort. Okay. Um, yeah. Oh. Sorry, go ahead. Smee, no, you're saying something. Yeah, no, no, no. It was, it was it, GM. In this case, GM, it's irrelevant. GM, go. I was going to ask for athletics checks. From all of us. Yes. Athletics. Oh, geez, it's not my strong word. Twenty. Six. Five. Six. It's on strength. I'm not good at strength. Five and a <laughs> plus three, even. Oi! <laughs> Four! Oh, God. <laughs> the religious folk are booking it. <laughs> well, yeah, the only reason Alice a is staying behind because she's staying with the vulnerable people. And they are catching up. How many are there? Uh, perception check, because you're, you're well ahead. Well, no, because actually, you're you're at the rear. How many are there? Uh, yeah, that's why I was asking. Twelve. Oh, good God. Oh, 
Okay. And they're ch- and they're chasing us. They mm-hmm. are, in fact, they're chasing you and they're gaining. Hmm. Okay. okay. Um. Hmm. Are they more than are they uh, less than 60 feet away from us? Um make me another uh, athletics check if you're still running. Yes. Uh, do you want all, all of us to make you. a check again? Oh. Yeah. 14. 16. 16. Six again. Well, if I if I Nine. see I'm if I see I'm slowing and the others are still ahead are getting ahead of me, I'm going to stop. And pull out an explosive arrow and try and aim it in front of them to sort of blow them back. Okay, that would be more of a siege arrow thing, but try it and see what happens. I thought I the, the I'm doing with what I've got. <laughs> Are the explosive arrows the siege arrows, or no. was that something? No. So Got would it. it be longbow or explosive arrow? Uh, click on longbow for the shot. Right. But still a disadvantage, or not? Did you stop running? Yes. Then no. When I notice Ava stopped running, I stopped running. Don't go! I'm. You're not. Catch up. Well, you're not aiming at a specific person, so. uh, Sort of in front of them, yeah. And of course, you're not. Since you're not hitting anyone, you're not really rolling damage, so. It's more to knock them to the ground and give this a bit of time. It doesn't blow up that hard, is the problem. It staggers a couple of them, but uh, it wasn't designed for that. It was designed right. to blow through armor or scales. Mm. If Makes you wanted sense. that, you needed a siege arrow. Alice, mm. however, has stopped and is standing next to you. And she holds out fingers. Hey, guys! Fuck you! <laughs> and she cast Shadow. Oh, jeez. Which is exactly what I was gonna do. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> I love it when you and I think alike. That's great. <laughs> oh my god. This is what did wor- you do to them? This is the worst <laughs> my this die has ever rolled. Oh, jeez. <laughs> All but three of them fall to the ground. Three? Didn't you say twelve? Yeah, all there but three. Oh, all three, right. Nine went pfft, in a fairly <laughs> significant amount of pain. <laughs> it just got dropped. I love you. Just the fact that you had the exact same thought that I did is just brilliant. That's why. I, hence why I asked if they were if they were less than sixty feet away from us. I love it. It's great. And that's oh god. That's Sorry. Thunder damage. So. Uh, oh, oh Jesus. <laughs> Oh, no! Yeah, no. Um, all but three of them died. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Seeing that, I, I, I took that place. Remind me never to get back on your bad side, and then if no, you sort of turn and start running again. And we still got three guys. Eldritch blast on a random two of them. And then I take off running as well. Okay. I'm gonna try. Well, I'm gonna try and shoot one again with the normal arrow as running. Seventeen. Running. Roll damage. Nine. It's still up, but I should roll this they, they were still hurt, so. Yeah, nope, drops. He was badly hurt anyway, so... Okay. And taking my second shot... 24. <laughs> Nine! <laughs> and, and, now he's doing mop-up. <laughs> now give it up! 
<laughs> is and Al- takes is, off running. Is, is Ava shooting? Yeah, if there's one left, yes. Um, there's one left nosebleed, but, you know. Still a disadvantage? Yeah. If I'm you're running. running, then yes. If you stop, um, then no. I'll stop to shoot, and then I'll keep running. 25. Roll damage. Uh, no, you just click on the on the thing that. Well, no, you click on the thing that says longbow. In the chat, in the where where the roll came up is twenty five. Oh right, 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 sorry. Right. Yeah, you you get him. Six. You, you get him. Well. I'll, I'll, take, I'll take the one. I'll take the one I I gave you because it's a little higher and it actually kills him. Whereas <laughs> yours would have left him with like one hit point. <laughs> you needed this one. Thank you. <laughs> but because you haven't had one, and I know it's small, but it's something. How do you want to do this? <laughs> <laughs> Where do you want to hit him? Yeah. Right through the script. Just like what you did with, one of them did with that kid. Okay, you watch as you know, he's he's trying to adjust his like, and she times it just perfectly and thud. That was the cheat. And I keep running. <laughs> I almost didn't want to learn that spell, Darwin. I almost didn't want to learn it. <laughs> 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 but I'm you, glad you did. We had the same idea. But Frozen <laughs> used it to such good advantage, and I thought, hey, and look! Thanks for the mop up, guys! For once. Hey. Hey, now. <laughs> That's the most effective I've ever been. Not true. You softened up that behemoth thing for me. No, That's it was the Umber Hulk. <laughs> you softened up the Umber Hulk real good. Still full tilt. Yeah. yeah, running. Now now that you're yeah. not trying to outrun anybody. Um, you can probably afford to slow pace a bit, and a couple of you are going to have to. Because your various athletic stats are right. not fit to keep you running <laughs> that long. <laughs> Sorry! <laughs> Guilty! <laughs> Remy looks over her shoulder. Yeah. <laughs> Nye and um, Nye and Ava are flagging little Darvin's also a bit he's got a bit more lung capacity because he does. <laughs> but his legs are you know that feeling when you can feel the lactic acid starting to cramp <laughs> shit up? Yeah. Yeah, the burning. The burning. Mm-hmm. I think we need to at least slow down. I, th- this is when I finally hear this and start slowing, slowing, turning around and running back. Yeah, Remy, slow us down. <laughs> of course, you can probably just about see the dozen bodies just in a little pile off in the distance. <laughs> Holy shit! We were getting <laughs> followed, we dealt with it. <laughs> nice! I can see that. Yeah, Alice, 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 like, Shattered. It was awesome. <laughs> Can I see the other two? Yeah, they're they're uh, they're, they're limping along. Oh, two no. minutes, guys. Breathe. We made good time getting away, more or less. Breathe, because these were just these were just the kind of staff they have on the town. <laughs> No, we got to going to be worse in the Baron in his Baron's home. Mm-hmm. And even Might worse in Vendron's hold. We're going to need Goon. to be on form. So bring and it. on point. Yeah, Darvin, I'm going to want my stuff back. Yeah, here you go. Nice, nice shot, man, I say. Hey, you did well, too. That was That was a hell of a shot. Both of you. I'm going to go to each of the two who are flagging. Hug, and then hug. <laughs> Alice reaches into her own bag, pulls out a water skin, and a 
handful of, well, a little bag with berries in it. Eat, drink, then we go. I'm assuming at this point we're right, right up to kicking in the front door. Yeah! Yep. Mm -hmm. No objections. Nope. At the were very there, least... Were there guards on the door? There... I, I There would be usually uh, Goldendale guards, but... Well, that, hey, that's why I asked in general. Yeah, there'd usually be Goldendale guards on the door. So they're probably going to be Crown's guard, guard guards now. Mm-hmm. How do we want to play that? Well, I'm trying to sneak up. I can still focus. Tell you what, any of us with a ranged shot, try to take them down before they can mm -hmm. sound an alarm. You got oh. it. Okay. Yeah, yeah then that's not me. And um, out comes crossbow. Hey, your, your magic missile isn't that loud. <laughs> oh, that's true. That's true. It's me who can't do it own. quiet. <sighs> <laughs> My first thought was, yeah. To be on the safe side. Okay. Yeah, sure. My first thought was thunder wave. <laughs> if we're trying to be a little <laughs> sneaky, let's, let's that is the last time I can use it. Though. Exactly. That would get mm -hmm. the guards and the door. <laughs> be warned, though. I can only use this one more time. So, do we use it now or do we wait? Um, wait till we're a little closer to the house. Got it. We're rested. Everybody can breathe. There's no feeling mm -hmm. like your lungs or your knees are on fire? No. Let's go. Come on, everybody. Well, <laughs> I guess this says a lot for being, uh, uh, being for, for lessons that consist of run around the shrine X amount of times with, uh, heavy with packs. armor on. <laughs> armor yeah. and a heavy pack, I remember. Uh. Speaking of, uh, <laughs> You're, you're speaking of your bits and pieces. You know what you didn't do? Hmm? Roll for your staff of healing. Oh, yep. yes. I can roll for that. It's not an automatic up to full because you drained it. Yep, I can roll that right now. Just gotta check the amount it, I have to roll. <sighs> That'd be... One... D6 plus four... Nice. Most of the way full. Recharged. Yeah, that would have happened at dawn. Okay. He, when did he check to see if it breaks? Uh, during the fight, I, I rolled for him when uh, when he drained it on that last mask kill wounds. Because I didn't want to leave it to and maybe forget. Yeah, because it happens like the minute it drains. Okay. Um, I'll leave that for now because you come up on and for Ava this is the first time I mean for Nia it's just another human habitation bigger than most but nothing like anything you saw in uh, Equitas certainly not Egref or uh, I mean Egref <laughs> and uh, Belarace gave you an idea of a building where a ruler lives that's very different than this large-ish, but still kind of quaint house. For Ava, it's like, wait, this is a manor? It's barely a manor. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, it's proportionate to the town. <laughs> yeah, but she also knows that this, I mean, Cedar Grove had a lot of nobles. A lot mm -hmm. of greater or minor barons. This isn't just for the town. This is for the country. Or yeah, the barony. They mm. only have one. So this should probably be bigger. I was imagining something a bit bigger. It ki kind of looks like one of your summer cottages where you used to go hunting. <laughs> uh, long story. <laughs> Very long, complicated, terrifying story. But let's start with the simple part. This is actually a good baron who likes a simple life. 
Oh and most God. of his money goes one way or another to his people. Yeah. Well, that's good. Cool, dude. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, well, now let's make sure pass, we get, now get pass better. about Trace. Stealth from you. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Right. 29 total. <laughs> that one. Oh, no. Remy should be rolling at disadvantage. Oh, yeah. Uh, Just roll and again. I... And I should be rolling at advantage. I had advantage, yes. So roll again. Not much better. <laughs> That's an effective six. Plus ten. Well, yeah, sixteen. You're not as quiet as you want to be. Most of you. <laughs> because you're angry and it's been a hard day already. And right now you just want to kill things. <laughs> Which is why you get to within enough sight, close enough to the manor where you can see a couple of gentlemen in that black and iron armor with the winged crown burnished across the chest plate shout who goes there and they're pointing crossbows at you and they're yelling loud enough to be heard inside they rolled in at 20 guys oh, yep That's screw up. it up yeah. comes crossbow <laughs> Are we're within six? Uh, uh, all right. Well, stealth, well, stealth's out. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I mean, basically, you're, gonna, you're gonna attack. Okay. Well, yep. they're not leaving us much choice. Well, they only asked who went there. It doesn't yeah. necessarily mean they've seen you. Or oh. well, uh, okay. ready my bow, but stay to get everyone to stay still. Okay. How hmm. stupid is she gonna be? Okay, who got the... Yeah, okay, so are you attacking or are you staying still? Staying still for now. I'm gonna, I see Ava freeze and I'm just like, eh, halfway to raising crossbow, just stop. Mm. Remy sighs, lowers her hand and looks to Ava. Mm. I'm just waiting to see if the gods do anything. They do. They fire at Hazel. Alright, we'll fire back then. Okay, hang on. First thing. Let's see. Well, first of all, that's eight points of piercing damage for Hazel. Ow. <laughs> and Ow. because we're at about that time... Actually, no, there's a second bowman, isn't there? Oh, for pity's sake. And that's another seven how, points of piercing. Damage. How well did they roll? Uh, natural 19, natural 18. <laughs> Jesus H. Christ! So, total damage had, is... Yeah, it was, a uh, 15. Yeah. 8 and 7. Yeah, the... I mean, you, you, you... Ha sorry, you had the crit fail. You were the one they'd be aiming for. We are about <laughs> at that time, and my throat needs a break. So... We'll take five minutes ish, and when we come back, uh, we will start the fighting. Okay.
And we're back. And Hazel is now sporting a couple of crossbow bolts. Ow! 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 <laughs> Ow! Jackasses! I don't think this is going to last very long, so I'm just going to quickly have y'all roll initiative. Twelve! Eighteen! Uh, Thirteen! <laughs> oh no! Okay, well, they rolled crap. Um, Not twenty. <laughs> Okay. Um, hmm. You don't have to do the the. <laughs> now you really don't have to do the the advantage. The second one, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to, and then I saw green. It was like, oh, well, okay then. Okay, <laughs> top of the round, Darwin. All right, uh, I'm just gonna do uh, just just a uh, quick drum on the on the thing and just flip flip went uh, magic missile. Now, if I do. Uh, at second level, that's one each. Uh, can I do one on one and one on the other, or do I have to do both on one? I forget. Does that come? Oh, oh okay. Well, first of all, magic missile at first level gets you three. Wait. Oh, okay. You create three glowing darts of magical force. Each dart hits a creature of your choice that you can see within range. Uh, okay. I don't have my dart, book handy. A so. dart deals 1d4 plus check, 1 check, force one. damage to its target. You're frozen, uh, Smeagol. Yes. I would recommend, though, starting at Keep firing at one until... Basically, fire at one. If it dies before... Then I can shift the third dart to something else. Gotcha. I understand. So Thank if you. you cast it at second level, you get four darts. Okay. So I think I'll just do... I'll cast at level one then. Okay. I think I... I think I... Drag and drop that. Dude. I hate the dorm internet. It's been doing this twice now. Okay. Um, see, that's dart one. Dart two. Still on his feet, but... Uh, Okay, next up is actually Alice. And yes, I'm using the book to spare myself, uh, to give myself a bit more non speaking time. That's fine. I got a work email I need to look at real quick while, while we're dealing with this, if you don't mind. Alice A casts heat metal on the other guy's armor. Oh, shit. Ouch. <laughs> wow. <clears throat> if it were anyone else, I would say that's evil. <laughs> he's just about still alive, but he's. You see, there's the smell of roasting flesh as this guy's armor goes from black and iron to. You can. It's mostly on the iron that you see the red and the black enamel starting to peel. <laughs> basically, it really is just uh, light it up and. <laughs> um, 
Ava. Uh, Hunter's Mark on the other one. You... Sorry, you blipped out there. The, one the other that I one hit... hasn't been touched. Well, there were two. I hit one with magic missile. I think Alice hit yeah. the other one. I, so. oh, okay. I cooked. I, I'm, Alice is cooking the other one. Okay. Um, I'll hunt his mark and fire on the other one. Which is the, the one that one? I hit? Uh, no, the first one. Yeah, that's the one. Oh, yeah, the one, the one that Darwin hit. I actually took less damage than the one that Darwin hit. 2d8 fire damage all over his body. And she knows how that feels. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I still wince thinking about that. 25. Damage. One. <laughs> uh, kind of get, kinda gets him in. Oh, with Hunter's Mark. Seven. Okay, that's just. I mean, it looks like it's just nicked him, but it turns out that it gets the carotid artery, so he goes down <laughs> in a spray of blood. <laughs> just <laughs> across the deck <laughs> to the Kill side. Those, <laughs> I... There's one standing and he's screaming. <laughs> You're muted. Hold still, I'm gonna put you out of your misery. And uh, ours too. Uh, Eldritch Blast. <laughs> Six, not one. You break a window. <laughs> Twenty-one. Oh, roll damage. <laughs> Funnily enough, that's not quite enough. <laughs> Hazel. Uh, like ow, 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 ow. Pulling crossbow bolts out. Like, Are you sure you should be doing that? I'm. You guys deal with this. I'm gonna quaff the last greater healing potion that I've got. Okay. Um. Forty-four plus four. Nice. Nice, nice. Max. Wow. Max. <laughs> All fours. Holy shit, what a roll. I'm back to full. That is ridiculous. <laughs> Beautiful there. Um, okay, so the, the one the one that rolled less abysmally should go next, but he's kind of dead. Um, Remy. Okay, Remy. Is, I mean, is Remy within 60 feet? Yeah. And Remy casts Sacred Flame. <laughs> this is the first time I've seen her do Oh. That. Oh. If I recall correctly, that's a that's that's a DC fourteen deck save. That's gonna be fun. Let's see how we do. The the, the plain old flame is joined by a burst of radiant light, and the guy finally goes down. <laughs> it looks over and goes. I remember you. Yeah, okay. Apparently, Dad is teaching you some serious shit. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I'm going to put the, the, the potion bottle back, back in the bag and just pat Remy on the shoulder. Well, they know Let's get going. Now. <laughs> yep. Do you yep. know the entrance, uh, Darwin? Like a secret entrance or something? You you rolled that badly on that roll that you have no idea. <laughs> Remy's going for the front door. All right, Alice following. following. I'm following the one in the armor, so <laughs> I don't know do about y'all. Okay, uh, the door is locked. Darvin, do you want to have a shot at this or? Um, yeah, sure. Might be a bit better than just trying to break it down. Well, uh, it's either it's either you or me. Yeah, Kirk, I can do it too. Right. <laughs> Remy steps to the side. Yeah, I step back a bit. Um, <laughs> yeah. I heard an um. Are we giving them more time to prepare behind that door? Remember the last time we tried to break down a door? 
Yeah, but that was that you actually tried to break it down. This badly. is yeah, popping it open. Uh, is that a sleight of hand? Yeah. Oh no, thieves' tools. You click on thieves' tools. Oh, they click on thieves' tools. I'm sorry. It's been a minute since I since I did that. So clicking on thieves' tools. Sixteen. It's not a great lock. It pops open, no problem. You find yourself in what appears for the moment to be an empty corridor. Keeping an uh, eye out for any hidden right? <laughs> traps, hidden shooters, anything. Sorry, but you got more armor than me, so. <laughs> <laughs> Not to put too fine a point on it. Eldritch Sight. Uh, not seeing I'm keeping much. an eye out. Not seeing very much in the way of magic in there. Tracking any sign of movement or trustless. Uh, well, I mean, it's a very narrow corridor, and you're not really seeing. I mean, right now you see. Uh, hang on. Door to your left. Door to your right. Door straight ahead. <laughs> Remy looks okay. back to Darwin. Yeah. Look, we've only been here the once, and uh, we were just we were led to where we were supposed to go. Uh, I don't know. Let's just start checking doors. Mm-hmm. Well, you I'm know, following Remy. You know that that door, the one in the center, mm-hmm. leads to the uh, throne room. Uh, uh, okay, DM, so we're, I'm not on the right map. I think my my instance oh, is still I frozen. Think... Let me refresh. No, it's that's that's me. Ah, okay. Thank you. Remy goes for the left door. Yeah, well, uh, Remy, Remy, uh, just FYI, uh, that door is the throne room, and if he's sick, I doubt he's going to be in there. So good point. Yeah, so we'll do left, right, and then go from there. Mm-hmm. Remy, check on the traps. Check Ready? It's a matter. They're not going to be traps. Are you Darwin. doing for traps anyway? I just said I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, perception or investigation? Yeah, perception. Because uh, investigation is literally poking around and touching mm-hmm. things. Good. 16. You don't actually see any traps at the moment. Alright. Uh, Sorry, Eva, you're right. I'd probably better to be safe. No, it's fine. Yeah, you do have a point. Right, well, I try to... The, the left-hand door, which you've uh, just been investigating, appears to be a rather small dining room area. Okay. Is there any other door on the other side? Nope, it's just a... One of the tables has very clearly been removed because there should be one over sort of there. Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay. <sighs> Any sign that anyone's been there recently? Uh, roll me perception again. Kevin. <laughs> Two. That one, actually, I think. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You're too busy wondering about why the uh, oh, about why somebody would why why the ta- why is the table gone? Anybody else want to roll perception at all? I'm gonna look in. And go. What the heck? What what? Sorry. Why I'm is there only one table? Are you guys going in? Mm, I'm. Just pokes her head and looks around very quickly, and then. Okay. Uh, that's sort of what I'm gonna do too, because yeah. I'm seeing like how oh, glanced in glanced in, saw it was the dining room, turned back around down the hall. Yeah. I'm not yeah. going down the hall, but I've turned around to face back down the way. Okay. Um anybody who's paying attention to anything in the corridor make me perception check. I'm keeping an eye out. Yeah, I'm still watching the corridor. Nineteen. I'm looking in the room. Eleven. It's actually only 
Remy who can hear footsteps from the throne room. So, uh, do I, you want me to still roll perception for the room? Uh, if you want to. <laughs> Me too. Wow, nice. Yeah, it, there, there's, there's definitely signs that uh, guardsmen have been having dinners there. They're not the tidiest of eaters. Remy nudges who's ever close to her, closest to her, points her sword towards the throne room. Someone's waiting for us in there. Ready, my bud. <laughs> well, okay, then throne room it is. Taking a couple steps down the corridor, kind of like getting out of everyone's way. I'm, I'm, a, uh, I'm assuming uh, Alice and and Remy first through, and then the rest of us follow. Works for me. Yeah. Um, Alice sort of looks in Remy's direction. I'm taller than you. I stand a better chance of being able to kick this fucking door down. Remy? Ray? Stand aside. <laughs> Crunch. Door flies open. and The double doors fly open and there is a sound behind them, which is basically OW! <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, a couple of people were trying to sneak up in that general vicinity. And, um... <laughs> I hope they had their heads pressed against the door to listen. <laughs> no, she, she she kicked the doors into their faces. Blah, blah. <laughs> there are, however, six others and a couple of very stunned. Uh, well, you can't really see them because the doors now swung open in that area, so. I guess it's time to move you guys to places you need to be. <laughs> These are all wearing that same iron and black armor? Yeah, I don't have that as a... Yeah. As a I, I'm not even zoomed in far enough to see it clearly yet. <laughs> yeah, I know. I can... I need to zoom in a little farther, actually. I can see... <laughs> there we go. That's a little better. Yeah. Mm. I'm assuming Remy is sort of behind. I'll say yep. there. Rest of you? Uh, I'm sort of. I'm going to be probably near the melee fighters, right about there. Mm-hmm. Okay. Darvin. Um. Probably. Like. Behind, probably, well, because since I've been following Remy, probably behind Remy. So that one square directly to the south. Okay. Perfect. Ava? Um, I'll be... Uh, somewhere that's... Well, hmm. Probably to my left? Yeah, I was sort of thinking that, yeah. Just a, I mean, just a suggestion. It's up to you. Yeah, no, that's, I was sort of thinking around that area. No, I... There. <laughs> okay. And now, once again, we roll initiative. All right. Eleven. Nineteen. Twenty-one. Twenty. You're muted. Smeagol? You are muted. 16, sorry. I think it clicked it while I was trying to... Yeah, he does that all the time, so... No, no, not... There's no button on here. It was just on Discord.
two seconds. Okay, that's better. Okay, Ava. Uh, second strike on myself. Okay. And gonna move in a bit. Uh, two. Uh, to where I can see any of them, one of them, not sure which. You're gonna have to point to where you wanna go. Um, I'll say right here. I don't get an opportunity, attack opportunity thanks to the spell. And I'm gonna fire at the one right in front. Or is that too close? Which one? The one to my left. It, there's a door in the way. Oh, okay. Um, I'll fire the one here then. Open. Okay, fire. Uh, Twelve. That misses. Um, I'm gonna use this spell to give myself advantage. Or oh, should I call that before? Never mind. Yes. Should I call that? Before. Never mind. Next time. Always do things that give effects before. Darvin, your way is kind of blocked right now. Yeah. Um. In which case, I will. I'm not going to attack, uh, but what I will do <laughs> is, uh, yes? Sorry, uh, Zephyr strikes a bonus action. Don't get attack. Okay. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Although you should have said something. Why, well, it just sort of occurred to me after uh, Toby. Mind Sorry, Darwin. This is now your turn. Oh, okay. Um, <clears throat> in which case, I'm not going to attack, and I don't think I'm going to move just yet. Um, because I don't know what's in the room. Uh, so instead, uh, Alice, uh, charge in, get us some hits, and take out these nibblers of the tits! Have an inspiration. <laughs> I was expecting these little shits. <laughs> Long an, story. It's an in joke. Uh, anything else? It's an, uh, no, just the inspiration die on Alice for now. Okay. Remy. So, uh, Remy can move through yeah, she Alice can, she space. can nudge through them if she wants to, yes. And then she runs there. Okay. And then going to swing with a Divine Smite at level 2. And a Wrathless Might. Yes, welcome to the stats on Remy's new <laughs> Jesus! Say Christ! So, that's 19. Ouch! <laughs> well, 
Well, you guys did such a lot of work getting the components. We needed to get something good. Your arrows won't do quite that, but... Um, roll damage. Sorry. Okay, and then... Smite. Then... Yeah, the raffle smite. smite is not necessary. <laughs> <laughs> these guys don't have spe These guys don't have class levels. <laughs> these guys are squishy. <laughs> Anything else? Is that nope? Okay. Um. Alice's turn. I'm looking at the right book. Alice is going to move here. <clears throat> and she's going to use Slashing Flourish, so the scimitars swing out. Oh yeah, that'll hit. Um, so... Yeah, she she carves up dude, the first dude like Turducken, <laughs> and, <laughs> and manages to slash pretty heavily into uh, the the one behind her side as well. So it really is just this whirlwind of blades ending with the uh, one in front of her on the floor, and then turning to. At the guy behind. I think, given the angle that I'm at, I could see that. Yeah. It's like, well, Ava's not that tall. And attack I'm like, two, damn, she took my she took my words literally. Okay. Attack <laughs> two. Oh, Jesus, that was just the first one. Oh, look, I'm sorry. Yeah, she's she's not going to barbarians. Well, she's not going to spend the inspiration die for that one, because that's her inspiration die. It's called oh. Slashing Flourish. It's a College of Swords thing. And then oh, she just finishes the job more swirling of the blades and cuts the second one down. <laughs> Holy shit, Spag. So basically, Beautiful. you guys have seen um, her go from Barbarian Smash to this graceful ballet of blades cutting through everything in its path. Welcome to a rotary blade arrangement. <laughs> Um, I will say the Cuisinart. <laughs> yeah, this guy with the sword is just gonna run away. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, fuck this. Do basically, I I rolled, I rolled basically just wisdom, and it didn't really matter what I rolled because he rolled a one. Where did he run to? Out the out the side doors to your right. Mm. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's... Uh, um. Yes. <laughs> this guy follows his lead. <laughs> does it? Do we? Does it look like they might go get reinforced, or they just? You don't know. You just see them running for the door. Mm. <laughs> um, and there's these two. Except he doesn't. He doesn't have such an easy way to run, so they kind of step back and to there. Well, that we'll start with that guy. So skirts Remy, 
and is going to shoot at the terrifying rotary blade arrangement. <laughs> and Miss Horribly. And Miss Horribly. And you can just sort of, at this point, she's still doing the flourishing, so it's ping, ping. Yeah, fuck you. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> and this one who's got a door, thankfully, between him and Ava is gonna also try to shoot at the rotary blade arrangement. No. No! Just ping, ping. Knock it the fuck off! Nye! You can't I'm... see anything that's going on except you might. Actually, give me perception. Um. Um, no, that's between, a 15. Yeah, but between Hazel and everything else going on, you haven't seen these yeah. guys run. Okay, I'm going to um step over one and come into the room and kind of end up what here. Oh, step over one. Ten. And then come up diagonally. There? Yep. Packed blade out. Just kind of take a casual look around and go... You know you guys could surrender, and without waiting for an answer, two Eldritch Blasts straight up north at this dude. <laughs> what at the... Yeah. Okay. 24. Roll damage. Splorch. Max damage, 10. <laughs> Not hugely splorch, but... Roll again? Yep. Nine. At that time, he gets his shield up. This one looks a bit more competent than the other dudes. <laughs> Top of the round, Ava. Right now, all you've got is... Yes. Wait. What about... Oh, uh, Hazel, I... shit, I didn't put you on the... God, where should you be in the order? Um, It's because I had so many people rolling 16. Sorry about that. Um, I, was one, I was one of the ones who rolled the 16. I rolled the 16. Yeah, okay. Well, we'll put you in now. Um, sorry about that. And uh, we'll put you in the rotation properly later. All right. Actually, you roll me perception. Uh, sure. Before you start your turn. That's yeah, uh, you 22. Saw, you saw those guys run. Hey, where, where'd those two go? As I'm as I'm going to... Uh, can I make it to here? One, two, three, four, five. I think just about... There? Yeah, to... to yeah, no, below, uh, next to... Like, right behind uh, Bowman. I'm going to pull the hammer and just and hold it up menacingly and go, drop it! Intimidation. Uh, eight. It's enough. He's terrified enough, given what he's just seen. <laughs> Drops the bow. And now it is the guard's captain's turn. And he is. Yeah, he's going to make the mistake of engaging Alice in. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> That's one dumb guard captain. Well. Well, he does hit. For like five yeah, but points, now he. Five points but now damage. he's next to the Cuisinart. <laughs> <laughs> she catches the next one on the blade. That will henceforth be known as mistake number one. <laughs> Top of the round, Ava. Um, I was going to use my extra surgery. Didn't. He did. Can I? Aim him from here, or is that a saying? Um, little dodgy, but... Well, I'll step forward a bit. I'll step about. I mean, here. Here, here will do it. Oh, no, all right then. 
as long as you're on the diagonal, you're okay. And yeah. as long as you don't mm -hmm. roll a one. You roll yeah. a one, all bets are off. <laughs> yeah. Uh... Um, well, firing my attacks. Twelve. Again. Um, better. Twenty. Full damage. Seven. Oh, no. Keep getting. My bad. Darwin. All right, I'm going to step into the room. Uh, What's and there? can I get, as I do, so there, uh, one, one more up, if that's possible. So I'm directly in line with him. Thank you. Okay, 15, 20, yeah, you should be fine. <clears throat> okay. Thank you. And what I'm going to do is drum a couple of sharp notes on the uh, on my instrument and i will cast cloud of daggers on the captain directly on that spot so spells and i'll click the card it's casting at level two so that's 44 on the start of its next turn. Alice A looks at you. I'm gonna have to stick my arm in there, you jackass! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry! Hear me. Unless you had a bonus action. Uh, not that I'm gonna use. Okay, hear me. So the guard captain has got a cloud of daggers around him. Yes. And there's, but there's still an archer pointing at you. Yeah. Okay. She will go for the archer then. Seemed like a good idea. To... <laughs> <laughs> and then she will swing. Twenty-one. Roll damage. Oh no. Yeah, he is hurting pretty bad. Second attack. And, yep. 16. Roll damage. Yep. Now she's getting good rolls. Well, also, this one's not wearing any particular armor, so. <laughs> that helps too. Yeah, uh, at which point Remy cuts him down. Alice glaring at Darwin. <laughs> Nat 20s. Sorry, how, many, how much damage do you take? Yeah. That's fantastic, isn't it? Oh, God. Carving her arm to ribbons in the process. Keep using the wrong dice, actually. Oop! Fuck. I'll have to retrieve that later. Yeah, um, she winds up with the daggers carving up her arm, like. Yeah, it's nice and Julienne, but she cuts him down. And I'll. When that and I'll and I'll end the spell immediately. Yeah, that's and... nine points of slashing damage. <laughs> and yeah, and with, I'll with the arm, with the arm that's with the with the hand on the arm that's bleeding, it's just. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna look at the guy who I made drop it. Where's the Baron? Further intimidation check. Eleven. You are lazy. 
crazy bent, and I don't have to tell you shit. Do you want me to let her have you? And I'm just indicating Alice. <laughs> You're a lazy bent, and I don't have to tell you shit. You All yours, me? Alice. She comes up to him, bleeding from a couple of places. Fuck you. Yeah, maybe, but it's more of a time is of the essence thing. So, how about you make it a little easier on us and we won't hunt you down like we did the other two assholes who ran? Easy, 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 on the ground floor, middle bedroom. We didn't want him to have windows. They didn't want him to have windows. Please, I am not a Christmas ham. Don't treat me like one. <laughs> first of oh, this all, is in character cackling. Yeah, first, first of all, I have no idea what a Christmas is. I don't know where you're from, and I'm not sure I want to know. Second of all, thank you very much. Run for your life. <laughs> I'm just going to get out of the way and let him run. Ava's, uh, Ava's the one who's really in his way. I'm going to step back a bit. <laughs> now he's going to flourish the sword as he runs by, but not actually try to hit him. Make an intimidation check. <laughs> oh, God. You're going to make a poop <laughs> dance on the way out the door. <laughs> Six. <laughs> No, he's he didn't even see okay. you do it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> wow, how did he miss this thing? I think he was a little bit busy focusing on me. That's good. Good point. Shall we go after the two who ran? First, uh, we hang heal Alice's. Yeah, sorry about that, Alice. I'm. Uh, I, yeah. That was... Oh, okay. Remy's going to Alice unless Hazel gets oh, there first. No, because actually it's Ava doing it. Roll. All right, he's got it. When you go first level, six wounds closed are still a bit, but uh, it'll do. It'll do. It's fine. We can. I'm not leaking everywhere. It's fine. Yep, we can deal with the rest of the uh... hiccup so we... later. Well, since the two that ran off went out that door, do should we go out that door? Remy? It's not that big a place. This room's got to be around you somewhere. Mm -hmm. She starts going the way they went. Okay. Right, right behind you. By this point, by this point, you're out of the initiative order. So I'll just for the moment, say you've moved there. And yeah, the two the two grounds guard are in the corridor, standing by the middle bedroom door, or what you presume to be the middle bedroom door. Given how it looked from the outside, it couldn't be anywhere else, and there's only enough room for like three doors that way. Um, and they're just standing by the door. Are they doing any trembling mostly? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Alice, say we found the other two. Remy. Steps into the hallway, looks at the two of them, points out her sword, intimidatingly. <laughs> Make me an intimidation oh, okay. Yeah, that's... that's intimidating, all right. That's a 23 on intimidation. <laughs> now, why can't I get away with doing things like that? <laughs> Maybe your sword One giggles. Yeah, I was about to say, <laughs> <laughs> Remy's sword doesn't glow in the dark. That's... Is she asking them to do anything, or is them wetting their no. pants enough? You yeah, know, just staring very intently. <laughs> Alice sort of comes up behind and goes, look at it this way. If I don't get you, she will. I would be running if I were you. You're cool with that, right? Look yeah, over. Remy. Remy. Nods over to Alice. Yeah, no, they run for their lives. 
There might be more upstairs, but for the time being, you haven't heard anything yet. So many levels of nope from these two. Let's just hope that they haven't gone for backup at Vendron's hold, huh? Well, let's just get what we do what we came for. Rami goes for the door they were guarding. Okay. Um, I think we can leave the tags alone for now. Yeah. When, uh, yeah, I would have gone up behind as well when Alice moved forward. Yeah, I probably would have been about third through. Just by proximity alone. Along. Yeah, well, we'll leave it for the time being. Because I'm yeah. not going to move tabs along all the way around. The room is actually one that you recognize now that you're a little more clear headed about it, or at least Darwin and Hazel do. It's the room they kept Twilly in. When they had her under arrest. Mm. The Baron is in the bed and he looks gravely, gravely ill. His skin is pale and sort of blue ashen in, you know, in around the cheekbones. And he has lost a great deal of weight. His hair is thinner and grayer. Then you guys, rem then you two remember seeing it. Well, three, because Remy, yeah, actually has met this man before. And he was always a bit gaunt and uh, nervous looking, but he didn't look half dead. You two, this being the first time you've seen this gentleman, he's halfway to being a corpse. Yeah, my. My jaws hit the floor, and I am quickly moving out of the way so Hazel can get into the room quicker. I'm gonna try and look him over medically. Medicine check. Fourteen? And it's pretty obvious he's been poisoned. It's hard to tell what with. Staff comes out. And you didn't ask uh, for antidotes. Yep. Staff comes out. Uh, going to burn two charges, try to cast lesser restoration. Some of the pallor lifts. Unfortunately, not all of it seems to have been poison. The poison has weakened him enough to make him quite ill in other ways, so it's not just poison, there's also disease. Can somebody go get some, I need at least another cleric here. Well, I'd still, uh, Zephyr strike lasts a minute, but no problem. What? Sorry, you broke up. Zephyr there. strike lasts for a minute, would that still be up? Or? No. Not with the threatening and the Mm-hmm. And it wouldn't it wouldn't get you to town anyway. No. Yeah. This is the manor. They have horses. Can anybody ride? I assume I can. Uh you don't actually have the uh proficiency skill, but Remy does. Oh right, right. Remy does? I'm pretty sure that you uh, you had that on your character sheet at some point. Not animal handling. No, no, that's not animal handling. Oh. Uh, land. Oh, given yeah, okay. The, given where we are, that will mean a horse. No, yeah, that, that makes sense. I forgot about that category. Yeah, Remy nods. And I'll, go get, I'll go get help. She jogs out towards the stables. Yeah, they... Or looks around for the stables. It's kind of... I mean, the stables are nearly empty, but there's one pretty well-kept-looking horse. Looks kind of lonely and bored, but <laughs> clearly the last of some really nice hunting horses. Possibly originally came from uh, the Sullivan Plantation. Yeah. Remy takes off her gauntlet and gives him a pat. But. Yeah, then she goes to Saddle up and it's a well behaved going. sort of horse, so off Remy gallops. 
it takes a lot less time to get to the uh, to the town than it did running. Running slash walking, at least partially because you don't have to stop. Town is a mess. The clerics are doing what they can, but the riot is still going. Apparently the Golden Bough and the Shrine are under siege. And there is what appears to be a wyvern parked on the roof of Lenarks as a lookout. And so, uh, where are the clusters of various people, okay. especially the clerics? Go back to the Goldendale map. Well, and it's difficult to tell from the... And there's obviously a lot of guards here. That's Benson's. That, that's the Golden Bat. Now, can you do that marker again? Sorry, there. Okay. Down to the Where's floor, Remy? The map. Remy was coming from this way, so... Um, and I didn't draw a map there, but she'd have to come in from either there or from sort of that sort of area. Probably that yeah. one. Okay, and where's the, the library? Shrine, the shrine is here. For now, the wyvern is up here. Okay, then Remy will circle around. Okay. Um, I don't even think you can stealth on a horse. <laughs> yeah, she in a show. She's run. She's galloping. Okay, so you gallop for the golden bow. Then around that to try to get to the shrine. Okay. It's only as you're reaching the uh, makeshift graveyard. Yeah, the the newer stone. Well, the markers, the wooden markers. When you hear a. Uh, and flapping of wings. But are you going in? Uh, Remy looks to the wing flapping first. Uh, it's up there, and it's approaching. So it's approaching from the north. Uh, can you mark that again? Sorry, um, well, Lone Arcs, it, it's up there someplace, so it's coming in from that direction. And since you marked there, that's when you heard it. So you can theoretically get in before it arrives. Okay, yeah. No, I was just reading a spell card, but it says choose a humanoid target, so that's not going to work. Uh, you yeah, so didn't realize they have riders. No, 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 that's true. Just, I thought, so Remy tries to guide the horse behind the building and then hop, hop off of it and hurry inside. Okay. Um, you seem to manage to make it, but you can still hear circling. Inside, there is the elderly cleric of Bayori, um, Melora, a couple of others that you don't recognize. They they seem to have turned this into a hospital. Melora, the white-skinned, navy blue robe tiefling, looks up at you. You've led the wyvern on us. Why? I'm sorry, I was not expecting a wyvern. It's, um, we found the Baron. We need someone who knows how to deal with poisons. He's stable for now, but... Actually, Hazel, probably, I hope, would have told you it wasn't just poison by that point. It's disease. Because there's a difference. Uh, poison requires lesser. Disease requires greater restoration. Uh, did she tell her? 
I'm going to say she did because we really don't have time to keep mucking with Okey it. Okie doke. Rumi says he's poisoned and diseased and Hazel did what she could, but he's still not looking good. Right. First thing we need to do is lead that wyvern off. I can do that. No, you can't, because you clearly came by horseback. We need to lead yeah, the same way. Just that's what I mean. I trust, trust me. Okay. I, I won't have to put myself in harm's way at all. Mm. Steps into the doorway, cracks the door, invoke duplicity. <laughs> and there's a, another Melora just the, 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 the wyvern screeches and heads off in the direction that she's vooming. Quickly, if he hits that thing, it's gone. <laughs> Yeah, Remy hurries back to the horse and then yeah, holds horse, a hand out for her. Very well behaved. Kind of scared, but well behaved. <laughs> yeah, and Melora managed. Melora's uh, duplicate manages to keep the wyvern occupied until you guys are sort of back around behind Benson's. And what have you guys been doing in the meantime? Uh, would I? You're muted then, again, um, Smeagol. Would I have learned anything about diseases or toxins or anything like you training? You don't have medicine, so no. I'm gonna keep working to make sure he stays. The Baron stays stable. I'm gonna step out in the corridor and just keep an eye out. Yeah, I was gonna do the same. I'm yeah, just. I'll I'm at the. That. I'm at. Uh, one of the doors. Uh, how many doors are there to the room? Just the one? Yep. Then I'm going to keep an eye out in the corridor for anybody coming down, like from upstairs or any of the other yep. directions, just in case. Okay, roll Same. In perception, you guys. Sure. The three of you that are watching. Six. One moment. 17. Perception. Yeah, Nye... Twenty. Nye's not really used to houses. He thinks... He's a little... He hears noises and is quite concerned until Ava and Darwin, uh, old uh, veterans of old houses, are like, no, that's just a creek and floorboard. No, that's just the house settling. No, it's fine, Nye. <laughs> Because <laughs> <laughs> Nye's looking paranoid as shit. Uh, oh no, that oh no, that sound. No, that was just. I'm a little hungry. <laughs> Everything's fine. No, no sign. Of it would be if some if people you were think coming. They had in, everyone down here. There'd probably be more stomping. Mm -hmm. <sighs> if you see me raid my bird, then you... <laughs> Should we cover the front door, the then? Mm. I think we're alright for now. Alice A from in the room, we probably don't want to spread ourselves too thin, either. Exactly. Yeah, that's why my that, that was my hesitation. Push mm, to hey. Show. We now have a horse we can get out the window. Is the... Did the doors back into the throne room, are they still open? Yeah. Silent image, closed doors. <laughs> that one's also still open. Hmm. When, did, when did that one come open? When the two guards ran for their lives. Oh. Hmm. You know, I never asked you just how big you can make those. I don't know. I haven't tried. Hmm. Well, we can think of maybe just shutting the doors. Well, what I want is, you know, somebody comes by, puts their hand on the door, their hand goes through the door, and we get some amount of warning. Or we could just watch. Hmm. Listen. Like they we're know, doing now. They know the difference between a house settling and footsteps. Let them teach you. Yeah, let's we'll close the doors because if nothing else, it'll give them. They'll have to open them. 
Mm -hmm. Or we could just leave them open and have some distance to see. And shoot, in some cases. Magic isn't the solution for everything. Sometimes it's good old-fashioned violence. (laughs) Set to music. Dance, dance, hey. execution. <laughs> <laughs> Any, I'm still. Well, I mean, you thinking. basically pirouetted there for a minute. <laughs> it was uh, beautifully I done, think. by the way. Hey, then I think we'll only find out. Flourishes the blade to the bow. I think we'll only find out once help gets here, Ava. Sorry. Yeah. Best I can do is just stick, keep stable. Yeah. I'll try to get some water in him. I think half the problem is they haven't exactly been treating him well. Probably didn't um, know. Yep. Uh, uh, yeah, just going through sta- uh, SOP medical procedure, getting, try- I'm trying to find water that doesn't look well, like it's I'll, been I'll messed say with. I'll just hands over because she carries all the survival shit, so it's like water skin. Mm-hmm. Thank you. And she she sets to work mashing some uh, some berries up. Because she still has that bag. <laughs> they all have good berries. They're not good berries. They're just... But they're food. Mm. And she's mashing them up so he doesn't have to chew, chew. anything. Just uh-huh. here, feed him these. He's going through the motion. <laughs> it takes a hey, while. Yeah. And then that's when uh, Darwin and Ava hear hoofbeats. <laughs> I only hear Is one. Is there a window nearby? Uh, no, actually. Um, no. That's only one horse, so that's I'm taking that as a good sign. And Remy comes in, followed by a hooded figure, because uh, she's kept the hood well up. She pulls it back, bone-white tiefling with equally bone-white hair, sort of off-pink eyes. You've met Melora. She's one of the, uh, it's just mostly she stays hooded. Hello! Ah! Yeah, uh, Hazel doesn't know her that well because she's fairly new. The pre- the, the clerics of Istis kind of swap around. Mm-hmm. But she's seen her a few times before. Hazel, hello. Uh, things are a little bit of a mess in town, I should warn you. Yeah, there's a wyvern. Yeah, there have oh. been wyvern riders for days. Oh. Huh. I do have to wonder where the other two went. Probably the tower. Uh, uh, we hope the tower. Right, uh, I understand that the Baron's not well. Yeah. It, it had, come here, I'll show you. And I'm going to show the Baron and run through what I... I got from my diagnostic. And from what you've done already. Well, given the poisoning and the neglect, I can see why he'd have got this ill. It's not entirely natural, but uh, the unnatural of the original disease is enough to uh, build a foundation. We can cure it. Well, I can cure it, but he'll still be weak for a while. So long as so he'll be healthy, it won't be an immediate he won't danger be an immediate of danger of death. But he'll need to recuperate. Um, he'll need, we can offer that. He'll need proper keeping an eye on. Uh, you know the routine, Hazel. Uh, mm-hmm. Strong broths, uh, as much fruit juice as we can get into him. Um, Thankfully, we're gonna have uh, enough of that on hand. I think. Um, question. How do we... I mean, is he going to be safe here? Hmm, I'm not entirely sure. I mean, here being the manor, not this room, because obviously we probably wouldn't want to keep him in this room, because some windows, some, you know, natural light, you know, give him some air. You well, know. yeah, natural light aside, um, if he needs constant care, unfortunately, the only place I can think of to take him that might at least be regularly guarded, if not safe, is hearth home. Uh, 
I mean, call Angel. Well, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm looking. I'm, I'm looking at the that. Baron to see. I'm looking at the Baron to see how tall he is, and if he's is he about my height? I don't remember how tall he is. A little taller. Mm. But he's not going to be up very much, is he? Yeah. Well, I'm just. I'm. I'm thinking. I'm. I'm still wondering. I'll give up my room. <laughs> There's space. It's the matter of getting there. The town's a bit under siege. Yeah, but we can. We know we can bypass the town, and if we need to get him there, you guys talked about a carriage. Um, be I, around here somewhere. And I, I could get him to hearth home. You cannot dimension door that far. No. Okay. I didn't. Okay. Thank you. We can find a carriage around here somewhere. Range is 500 feet. 500 feet. Okay. Sorry. This is several miles. Mm hmm. I forgot the. I forgot that it said feet. My, my, I apologize. What did you think it said? Miles? <laughs> Ava, Durbin. Four? Anyway. I think we could uh, find, uh, find uh, go looking for the carriage while we're. Uh, Okay. Well, um, uh, Melora. Mm -hmm. Well, well, you keep an eye on him. And if you like, I can drive him to your home. Because I that imagine would be... you still have places to be. Yeah, that would be more than amazing. That would be helpful. Okay. All right, let's go have a look. Yep. Okay, uh, give me an investigation check, you two. Uh, eight. It's unfamiliar territory for you. Mm. Darvin? I don't know if Darvin was looking. I know what? you were looking. Uh, oh, like as I asked, I asked if he. I asked Darvin to also come looking. I'm gonna. Oh, oh I didn't hear that. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah, I'll go. I'll 13. go take a look. All right, let me go. Ava yeah. and Darvin. Okay, I'm sorry. Yeah. Let me go take a look and see what I can find. Darvin eventually finds. It's not the nice carriage, but it's not the prison wagon either. It's. It's 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 a cart they can make comfortable. The wheels are the wheels are good, but it's been hidden, which is probably the only reason it hasn't been sold off yet. And best of all, it can it, it can it can take you know one horse. As most of the other carriages would have been two or more. Yeah, two. Hazel, over here, over here. It's this is perfect. Uh, Scooby stacked the around the corner to see what Darwin's pointing at. <laughs> I finally that realized what you were referring to when you said that. Anyway. That should do the trick. Awesome. We only have the one horse, too. Mm -hmm. Okay, because we're coming to around that time, and I think Ethan is kind of vaguing out a little bit. Oh, sorry. <laughs> um... What we will say is that while Laura was doing the greater restoration thing, you guys have set up the cart to be comfy and loaded him in it. He's not really conscious or with it very much right now. So you won't be hearing much from him. Uh, Melora, who's been asking some questions about you know how things are and where everybody else is, says... Um, I'll try to see if I can get the dragonborn back to you. I'll be there. And I believe he has a part to play. Thank you. Take care of yourselves. Me too. And off she goes. And we will reconvene in two weeks' time when you take on the refurbished Vendrin's Hold.